beautiful and quiet evening. A little bit on the breezy side as we head into the evening hours. Our wind still from the south, and that's kept us milder along with some high cloudiness. It's been drifting overhead tonight. 27 now as we head to bed. Feels like 16, though. Winds still over 10 miles per hour out of the south. Moorhead at the airport right now, 28. Your temperature. We have a little cooler conditions right now for Cavalier. Look at, or pardon me, for Valley City, but Cavalier still at 32. Wapiton Breckenridge in the upper 20s. Lakes Country, 27s for both Becker and Ottertail counties right now, and Beltrami County, 25 in the southern portion at least for the Bemidji area. Here's those high clouds thinning out now as we head to bed. There's more where that came from though up in Canada. And again, the flow out of the north there helping to uh, keep that flow of clouds making their way in. But our surface winds are from the south. Look at the wintry conditions. The northeastern United States are seeing Maine now hitting, getting some of the heaviest of the snow bands up towards Nova Scotia. And as we look across the nation's midsection, not a lot to contend with, but we do have low pressure starting to form in the Hudson Bay area. And sometimes these things can linger around in that region. When that happens, we get a pretty persistent flow from the north and west, particularly across northern Minnesota. And that could keep us a little on the cooler side. Big storm system out off the west coast that will be uh, causing some unsettled weather as we go through the later portion of our seven day forecast. More on how here in a minute. As we head through the overnight hours, we will have south winds. There will be a slight chance of some patchy areas of dense fog once again. Doesn't look to be widespread. And as we go through the overnight, thanks to the wind, we're going to see temperatures that will be a lot milder to start out our morning upper teens to around 20 degrees for many of us. That's not a bad springboard to start from. Now we'll see some sunshine as that fog evaporates in the morning hours and temperatures for your lunch hour will be pushing that 30 degree mark already. And that's about where we were for high temperatures today here at the FM area and in Grand Forks. Now in the afternoon, we'll build on that just a little bit more. So our warming trend continues, but it's a modest growth. The melting will continue once again as well. Notice tomorrow our wind direction shifts and comes out of the north. Some of that cold air from Canada sloshing down our way. Temperatures in northwest Minnesota, upper 20s to mid 30s across your area. Tomorrow evening looks like another modest chance for some patchy areas of fog forming as we head into the nighttime hours. So for Fargo, daytime sunshine, temperatures rising out of the teens and into the mid 30s. We'll see a few clouds in the late part of the day. Remember that wind shift about 5 to 15 miles per hour from the north for your Wednesday. 32 Grand Forks, 30 in Langdon and 33 in Oaks. And we'll see some mid and maybe even upper 30s as we go down to the south and to the east out near Wadena and Grant counties. Look at this beautiful sunlit icicle shot right here from Fertile. Thanks, Cindy, for taking the time to upload your photo. Do so today at ValleyNewsLive.com. We may use yours behind the seven day. On Thursday, the modest growth continues, but that north flow out of Canada will kind of reinforce some of the cool air in the region. Friday, we'll see temperatures a little closer to 40 degrees. We'll have a shot at a place or two at getting there on Saturday for your St. Patrick's Day. Our best chance of precipitation comes Sunday into Monday. And as we uh, see the best chance will be on Monday, that storm system looks to be skirting mainly through South Dakota. So the best chance for anything inclement will be to the far south as we go into next week. Well, we shouldn't complain. It's consistent, but it's not troublesome. No, nope, yeah. a little daytime melting, and then it freezes again at night. All right, thanks.